we set about in 2018 to raise money with a car that I saved 35 years for to get, which is uh, our 911-991 second generation uh, 4S. And we had it done specifically in the lava orange with a navy blue hood to kind of represent the RNLI colours of their boats. Uh, the reason we did that is because we are in awe of the six and a half thousand um, uh, volunteers of the RNLI who, without hesitation or judgment, will come out and rescue on any part of the 19,000 miles of coastline around the UK and the whole of Ireland. This year we're taking our challenge just to England and the isles around it, so the Isle of Man, Jersey, Guernsey, Alderney, Isle of Wight. Um, there's 116 lifeboat stations we have to get to, about three, just over 3,000 miles. So it had 911 miles on the clock when we started, when we got the car back in 2018. It was one of the last of the 991 second generations to be produced, especially as a cabriolet. Um, since then we've put about 45,000 miles on the clock doing these challenges and then coming to events like this at Bewley. Um, to promote not just the RNLI but also the incredible um, attributes of this car. It has proven we go down A and B roads only and an awful lot of B roads and some turt tracks that most Porsche owners wouldn't want to go down and this car has stood the test on every single occasion. Uh, we take everything with us that we need for the two or three week challenge so we don't have time to stop to go and get um, you know, a tube of toothpaste. So everything sits in specific luggage we've had made that go into the front of the car and also onto the back. And I have to say, when it's got that added weight in the front, it handles those corners at a brisk pace, shall I say, extremely well. Um, in fact, so much so when I get back and I unload the, the boots, um, I have to be careful going around the bends because I forget it doesn't have quite so much traction. Uh, but it is a brilliant car for it. It stood the test. It's not given us a moment's uh, issue at all. We've just had it for regular servicing, regular MOTs, and it's come out with flying colours. So I would highly recommend the car. So our first runner-up is the 993 Speedster here in white. A lot of hours that gone into this car, um, massive team. Uh, we run an independent specialist called MLR Porsche in Stoke-on-Trent in the Midlands. And uh, yeah, we look after stuff like this. We build these from scratch and yeah, it's just more passion than anything else really. Right, we will move on to our next runner-up now. And it is the 912 in the middle. The body is carbon fiber mostly, all the bolt on panels, 750 kilos, um, and the engine is also modified, but or it's still original. So two liters and 200 horsepower is almost, yeah. Um, we started about three years ago. This is the prototype car that we're doing. And uh, yeah, so I'm glad that you guys enjoyed it and liked it. Thank you. That does leave us with our winner then. So if you would like to come on over and a round of applause please for our winner of Simply Porsche 2023. Are you happy to talk about your car a little bit? I will pass you over then. Oops. First of all, thank you so much everyone. Um, had some great comments today. And when you work on your car and you make these things, you know what, it's not about the money, it's not about anything else. It's about people coming up, you know, shaking your hand or having a conversation, whether you're 12 years old or you know, 100 years, it doesn't matter. You all, you all join in and have this massive conversation. Thank you very much. Um, the, as you know, the car's supercharged, uh, about yep. 470 brake. Uh, everything's been upgraded. I mean, there's nothing that hasn't been upgraded on it. Custom leather, custom wheels, custom suspension, custom literally everything on it. But um, also, thank you for the 996 Corona Owners Club. Thank you guys for your support. Um, <laughs> thank you very much. Okay, and thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.